Hi everyone, this is Tanya here with Memory Lane Keepsakes and welcome back to my channel. I am so thankful that you guys have clicked on this video. Today I will be sharing another project creation for you all by Coco Rosa Studio. Um, I have been working with some dyes as a guest designer from their company and I have really been having so much fun and I'm back as promised to share what I've created with the dyes that I have selected. So today the dye that I'm going to be featuring by Coco Rosa Studio happens to be this one right here. This one is called Decorative Band-Aid Dyes. And this particular Band-Aid Dye set has four bandages and it also comes with some other pieces that you can use to decorate with as well. And they look like this. So you have a heart and you have an X, a star, and a flower or it could be like a little sun. Um, but these pieces are the pieces that's in the set. And I like the fact that they have uniqueness um, and a little pattern to the bandages, and that's really cool. I've also taken out time to cut out a few of those so the way you can see what they look like. Um, I have cut out every single one of them, but I'm gonna show you something that I wanna share. So one of the bandages that I cut was this one right here. Um, this particular one happens to be this shape right here, which is the rectangle shape, and it has the zigzag or the chevron look to it. Um, the middle piece does cut out, or you can keep that piece in. It's one of the things I wanted to share about those. Um, this one right here I use, and I like the fact that it has that scallop edge to it, which is really neat. The other dye that you see right here is this one here. That's what that one looks like. And this one does not have the scallop edge, but it's real similar to the first one. Now, as you see, I left that piece in so you can see what it looks like, but that piece can be removed. So when you go to take it out, it looks just like that, or you can keep it in so it'll be just like this. So you have options. Then we have the back to the other piece with the extra dies. Um, you have those pieces, and each one of those do cut individually. I kept them all together. Um, to make it easy to keep up with but this is what it looks like when those are cut out now for the one that has the little flower or it could be like a little mini sun that particular one is right here on the end what i want to share with you about that one that one cuts out individually so when you cut that one out it's just going to cut out that circle piece there and then all the other pieces are not it's not going to cut out as one um so i wanted to make that clear um so i did use one of those today to show what it looks like on my creation I have used a range of different um, things in my crafty stash to create this card using the band age, um, using the decorative band aid dies. And I wanted to share with you what that looks like now. But these are the dies in that set. And I also have a coupon code for you guys where you can save 25% off of your purchase using the code MEMORY25. Make sure you take advantage of that offer. That's awesome to have that coupon to save some money while you shop. The dyes are real affordable on Coco Rosa Studio as well as a lot of their other items that they have. They have stamps and Boston folders and other items um, to definitely look at. The links to everything that I'll share here in this video will be listed in the description box along with all of the products that I have been creating with. So let me go ahead and share with you now the items that I use to create my card. So I pulled out this die set here. This die set is one that I had in my stash. This is called the Scallop Frames Etch Metal Dies. I use this one. It's like a mini slimline um, die set, and I like this one. It also comes with a tag. This is one that I use. Um, that's a personal one to me, and I like this one. So this is what that one kind of looks like to give you a general idea. I also put out some other things. Of course, my Spectrum Noir Sparkle. You guys know I love the sparkle. And I have a designated paintbrush that I always use with this sparkle here. So that way this and this works together here. You always want to have a designated paintbrush. I pulled out some of my diamond dots. And I'm going to also pull those colors that I pulled to work with. I pulled some of my Distress Mica sprays as well as some of my Distress Oxide sprays. So I'm using the Wicked Elixir along with shade 5008 
beautiful greens and this one of course when you shake it up you want to go in a circular motion because it has a little ball that's gonna mix everything up so these colors are absolutely beautiful I also use this diamond dots which happens to be shade 8098 so it's more of a violet and I use um, fortune teller which is this beautiful mica stain um, spray that has this beautiful purple um, look to it and I love that shimmer inside of this spray absolutely gorgeous those mica stains are really nice that worked really nice together on the card as well as my spice marmalade this is the distress outside spray which is different from the mica powder uh, or the mica stain sprays and then i also have the diamond dots which is shade 5012 and those are my orange colors that i chose so with that being said along with the glue of your choice which happens to be for mine the tombow at the moment liquid glue um, I created a card so my card creation I'm really happy with how it turned out this is my first get well soon card most of the time I'm doing thinking of use um, get um and this is again my first get well soon card and I'm really excited about it so I have fun playing with the sprays but those decorative band-aid dies really come to life when you actually add other elements so this is the finished look of my card creation look how adorable and you can see how I've elevated this card to another level here so what I've done here is I cut out my background in white and I did a scallop edge um, using that die set that I shared with you from my crafty stash and I sprayed my background first using those mica stains and the distress outside sprays then I went back and I cut out each of the bandages separate prints separate patterns separate colors I didn't raise those even though you can do that as another option what I did was I wanted to play off by using all the different cutouts. And so now you can see what this one looks like when it's cut out. And I have to say, I want to say this one and this one is my favorite um, out of all the bandages. Um, so that would be this one. And as you see, the centerpiece is plain. So I did cut out the stars and I added the stars from that decorative piece, which is down here. Um, so that way it will show you what that looks like on a card. The other one that I like is this one, the regular bandage. Those two happen to be my favorite two to work with. They were very easy to cut out. I really like those. And then what I did to add a little pop to it, I went back and for my Spectrum New War, I added some Spectrum New War to the centers of the different bandages. And for the other ones, I just added the stars in those colors that I played along with. I then went back and I didn't pull this stamp, but this stamp I pulled from another set that I have in my own stash that says Get Well Soon. And then I sprayed the paper and I um, kind of like blocked it off um, so that way it would just stay in the areas that I wanted it. I masked it basically. And then it says Get Well Soon, those colors for it to work, but I did it um, in a different pattern so that way the eye will be basically catch it. So the green bit over here, you can see how I did on this side and vice versa the purple on that side here and then the orange over this way so I flipped it basically so I'm really excited and then I went back and I added those diamond dots as I mentioned I did the purple over here we got the orange and we have the green spread out um, so that's what that looks like I did a border of orange paper cardstock paper and then I finished it off with a white base leaving the inside blank for a later message and that's what my card looks like and I did raise that sentiment forgot to mention that I raised that using foam tape and on the back I stamped it with my inspired by life created by hand and this happens to be my card creation for Coco Rosa Studio using their decorative band-aid dies I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys choose to get this die set it's really beautiful if you do don't forget to use that code memory25 to save 25% off of your purchase this will be listed in the description box for you guys to click on it directly. Make sure you shop and make sure you have fun doing it and have fun creating. Don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Check out my Instagram page, which is Memory Lane Keepsakes 2017. Blessings and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.